Hey everybody, uh, what should have been uh, productive Thursday turned into a um, not productive Thursday yet again uh, due to baby doctor's appointment. She's got a bit of a cough happening, so I needed to take her in and that really, you know, put a dent in my day. I got some stuff done, but you know, vlogging, right? Uh, vlogging kind of has to take the back seat. So there won't be a whole lot today. However, I do have a couple lessons coming up. And uh, let's get the recorder going and see what we see and maybe there'll be a little bit of, you know, good stuff in there for you to soak in. But uh, that's basically the status of the day. But we can get something, we can get something quick out there anyway. Uh, <clears throat> while we're going, you know, some food for thought. One of the big things, uh, one of the big quotes of the week that I've been working with my morning class with and with other people is, uh, and I heard it on a podcast somewhere, action leads to motivation. Uh, it's not the other way around. And, and if, there's anything that, um, if there's anything that I want my students to do, you know, in, and maybe as we watch some footage later, I don't even know, I haven't recorded it yet, but maybe as we watch some footage later, you might see some undertones, but it's so true. I think the great players know that's true. How do you inspire uh, students to take action? Because they're not gonna feel the motivation until they do. Uh, I think as we go through the world, sometimes we assume something has to happen to us uh, or something has to happen to motivate us and then we'll take action after that. And that's just not the way it works. We have to at least partially dive in whatever we want to achieve. And then the motivation starts to come. Uh, you know, just an example in my own life, I found myself actually, you know, looking forward to my workout today at noon. I've been working out every single weekday at noon at the CrossFit gym, and uh, I'm not in shape yet. I'm definitely starting to see some results, which is pretty exciting, but I found myself actually looking forward to it, feeling motivated, feeling excited. That never would have happened without several months now of, of developing that habit and taking action. So I want you to think about that a little bit. Can you take action in your own plan? Uh, will my students decide they want to take action? Because as soon as they do, good things start to happen. Usually there's little bursts. Usually what makes a student want to take action is a uh, competition is coming up, but there's way too little time to get done what needs to get done at that point. We need to sort of decide at some point way in advance that we want to take action this time. We want to learn things properly. We want to dig deep. And that kind of thing is what can make a really good player. Anyway, just a little bit of blabbing, um, and uh, sorry for the discombobulated vlog today, but uh, regardless, life goes on, lessons are still happening, and we'll take a peek and we'll see what happens. Okay, and then when we see a dotted note, what should we do? Don't hold it. Give it its full value. All right, we don't want to hold a note. When you say hold a note, I don't like, I mean, teachers all over the world say hold notes, right? I don't like saying that because it suggests that you're doing, that's right, it suggests that you're doing something special to the note. If you're not, that every time you see a dot, you're gonna do it the same way. But you have to do it. You have to give it the full value. So we're not doing anything special. We're just trying to do it properly. Good, that's the first one. So you did pretty good and then you did this. Right? Instead we need this. Part of it's because your E doubling is lazy. It needs work. But we have to have sort of sharp fingers so that we can give the full value to all the dotted. So too cutesy wootsy. That's an official term. You don't want to do too cutesy wootsy. But what, what did you say you were doing this week? I was working on the band stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure band, the band stuff doesn't have very many bad terrible stuff either. That's pretty cool. So what I was saying is pendulum. It's the same concept, but let everything swing and let everything play out. We're going to shape it a little bit, but don't rob. 
Ah, the massacre. From the top. What was the massacre of Clint? Oh, you asked? Really? Are you serious? This is like one of two bits of Scottish history the average person knows. Except for you. It's a good tune. You just have to learn it. And it's super easy to learn. I think that's this is yeah, yeah. easier to learn than uh, Catholics.